What's up guys, Ryan from AOMC here. I've got a Suron Light BX behind me. Everybody's been pretty insane over these bikes the last couple years. And uh, we've got a full line of OEM parts and a good selection of aftermarket parts on our website. And today I'm gonna show you one of those. I'm gonna show you the Warp 9 oversized front rotor kit. I will put links to this down below. First I wanna say that the, the brakes actually work pretty good on these that are shipping now stock but they work even better with these oversized kits. So I'm gonna show you what you need and how you can install it. I'm gonna put links to it down below and I'm gonna have some other videos on installation on some of these Warp 9 products releasing as well, including the rear rotor, uh, the peg set, and the headlight switch. So let me show you what you need. All right guys, we have everything here we need. This is the Warp 9 S-FR220-F front rotor. You can type that number in the AOMC search bar or you can just check the link in this description. And you also need the front brake rotor adapter, S-FB220. Link's also in the description. So here's your adapter. So your stock caliper is gonna bolt to this and this is gonna move your caliper uh, back a little bit and allow room for this bigger rotor. You're gonna get four new bolts and Loctite. Now as far as tools, you're gonna need a Torx T25 to swap the rotor over. You're gonna need a five millimeter Allen to remove the caliper bolts. And I already have my front wheel off here because this is a new bike, but to remove your front wheel, you, you're gonna need your four millimeter Allen and an eight millimeter Allen. If you haven't removed your axle before, it's gonna be pretty easy. You're gonna to wanna to loosen up one side of these pinch bolts, leave the other side snug. Whichever side you loosen up, you'll take your eight millimeter Allen and spin out your cap. Once you get the cap spun out of the loose side, then you can loosen up the other side and just gently push your axle through with something like the Allen wrench itself and the wheel will slide right out. So we're gonna start by swapping out our rotor on our wheel here. So I've got my wheel on a tire stand. I've got my T25 on my ratchet. And you've got six bolts to remove. All right, guys, I got the rotor off. You can clearly see the size difference in these two. Should help out a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Warp 9 rotor on. And um, they give you Loctite, but I'm gonna leave that one sealed and go ahead and use my own. Now would be a good time to tell you, you can see the stock Suron front rotor is a fixed rotor. This one is a floating. Now, when you order these on our site, you have a couple different options. There, we have just a regular size 203 millimeter uh, front brake rotor that's fixed. There's also an oversized Warp 9 220 millimeter like this one that's fixed, or you can do an oversized floating. If you're not familiar with the benefits of a floating, uh, basically it can be a little lighter because it's got an aluminum inside here and also it's uh, more resistant to warping. So we went with the 220 millimeter floating, uh, which obviously you need the adapter that we got for either one of the 220 millimeter rotors. All right, let's go get this installed on the bike. Okay, I've twisted the bike around. I've twisted the fork around here. We're gonna start by taking our five millimeter Allen and removing the stock caliper bolts. All right, we're gonna use the included bolts from Warp 9. We're gonna make sure we put some Loctite on those. And we're going to tighten them down. I believe these are six millimeter threads. Don't have to be anything crazy, but you do want them tight. This is important that all of this stuff on your front wheel be tight and Loctited. Now we're going to use the two other bolts and mount up our caliper. All right, our rotor's mounted, our caliper's mounted. Now let's see how this fits up.
All right, I've got the wheel on, my axle in. You wanna kinda of give it a spin, make sure everything is free. I added a little bit of grease to that front axle just to help keep it from binding and chafing. Okay, now that we have everything on and it's spinning freely, we wanna install this front wheel just like we would on a dirt bike. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get the axle grease, get it in, and you're going to tighten down these pinch bolts and this cap on this side. Then you're gonna take the bike off the lift, off the stand, and you're gonna grab the front brake and compress the forks a few times. That's basically just gonna let this fork settle in to where it needs to settle, make sure nothing's in a bind, uh, and then you can tighten down this side and you're good to go. So that's the Warp 9 Suron front rotor upgrade, the 220 millimeter floating front rotor with the adapter installed on the Suron Lite BX. I will put links to these in the description. They are going to ship for free. Then you're gonna earn BRAP cash on these, which you can put back into other Suron products or whatever else you want on AOMC.MX. If you have any experience, questions, comments, leave them down below. I will keep an eye on that comment section. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage today. See you in the next video.